Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a border element using the Align and Distribute tools that come within Brilliance Essentials. So the first thing that we need to do is to get our border element. And I have this available for free on my website so you can go and download it there. Um, this is just a simple little daisy. So I am going to merge this in. So I will say I'm going to merge the stitch file in, file merge stitch file. And then I will go and find it on my machine. Okay, so I've imported one of my daisies in. And I, let's say that I want my total border to be four inches. The size of this daisy is three fourths of an inch. So let's say I do um, uh, six, I think I can get in within four inches, we'll see. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it. And I'm doing this by saying Command C, Command V. Um, I did that on the keyboard, but you can see I can do it edit, copy, edit, paste, and then I just move it over a little bit. And I can be sloppy about where I move it over. And if I want six really quickly, I can just copy these three, Command C, Command V. Okay, so now I have six total. And I want these to be all within four inches, right? So let's move this one over. And I'm using my grid lines, which are set to be at a one inch spacing. And I know this through my preferences. If I go to grid settings and I'm working in inches, they're one inch by one inch over here. So I know that, now that I can use that as a guide. So I'll take this one and I'll put it within four. Now, I don't know if I can fit all six within that space but we'll see. And I'm not being super precise here. And it looks like I might be able to get five into that space, not six. So these are not perfectly aligned or spaced. That's where why we use our utility for align and distribute. I'm going to select them all and then I will go to utility and I will pick um, align and distribute and let's distribute their, their vertical centers like that and apply. And let's see how that looks. Now they're perfectly evenly spaced, but I'm not so sure about the alignment vertically because I kind of randomly placed them there. So I'm gonna to go to align and I'm gonna say center vertically. It doesn't look too different. I guess I did a pretty decent job. Oh no, I have to hit apply first. And if we just watch very closely, they might shift around a tiny little bit, but now we know they're perfectly aligned. And now I have a border element here. The total width is three and seven eighths inch, so it would fit in a four inch by four inch hoop. If I really like it, I might wanna put a name between these two border elements. I could take my whole border element, Command C, Command V, and put my name in here if I would like to. Let's see, what name should we put in here? I'm double clicking on my letters. Oh, I wanna go over here and I wanna say, let's say Addison. Okay, now one more little problem. If we look at the stitch order, it is white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. That would be really annoying to stitch out. So I'm going to select everything here, go to utility and color sort and now I will put it in a new view and look at this. I have all my white stitching, I have all my yellow stitching, and then I have my purple name right there. So that is how you would use your align and distribute tools to create a border element. 